when you give up items early on, it's not so not so spicy because you're just giving away free damage to the trash lunch. I think if this game goes the distance, uh, then the the Garbodor player has the advantage just purely because of that late trash lunch. Yeah, and also the Ace of Roller is really coming in big too. Yeah, the Ace Rollers, the deck plays two, um, and then obviously as many as you need with the VS Seeker. Uh, so essentially you could play up to six. If you needed that many, you were yeah. probably in a lot of trouble. <laughs> uh, but you know, it could be the game-winning play. We see Alex uh, getting all the things he needs, really. Uh, to, uh, well, he to didn't have the one. Eevee, so... Okay, there it is. Eevee off the Cynthia. Water energy, energy evolution, getting that Glacia on turn one. And I'm pretty sure we're going to see a retreat here just to try to stifle any type of way they play from Igor. Yeah, it just needs to uh, make sure you can get all the pieces together. And, and, you know, the Cynthia getting you the EV and the energy is really big. Yeah. Uh, basically putting you in a, in a fantastic position to... Along with having the float stone before the Cynthia too, just for your treat. Yeah, I mean, get it out there. It's not that you can really do anything big with it, but it's something. Yeah. And I just want to talk about these two players in general. Alex Hill coming off a top four at Collinsville Regionals, and Igor coming off a top eight at Dallas as well. Yep. The, these players have just been at the height of their consistency this season, and I believe both were also in top 16 last year. And I'm not sure on Alex's position, but I know Igor is in top 16. Yeah, well, the, the chase fourth, is on for fourth, Alex, even. As, we, as we talked about earlier. Uh, he would be basically looking to, to get in those top 16 stipend positions yeah. because of these recent regional runs. The St. Louis Regional, this regional here in Costa Mesa, uh, really puts him back in contention to compete with the likes of Igor for stipends when it comes around uh, to our internationals in Columbus later this year. Also, he's really playing for that birthday victory as well. Yeah, birthday weekend. Might make the most of it. Uh, the Jumper does end up with the choice band on there. A little bit of energy as well. Um, but that's a, a lot of... Uh, Cards discarded with the Sycamore. Does look like it's paid off for Eagle, though. He has managed to grab a hold of two Trubbish uh, and an Ultra Ball, which he's going to play, uh, to just get more on the bench. Yeah, um, not really needing Bridget this game. Being able to just draw those Trubbish and an Ultra Ball off that Sycamore. It's another Drampa GX. Yep, why not? Make sure he's got all the things he needs. And benching uh, Tapu Lele, but it's not able to use its ability. He's really just benching it for an attacker, because like we've been saying, Tapu Lele's energy drive is pretty good against Glaceon. Yep, no wonder tag thanks to uh, Glaceon's ability there, so uh, nothing there, but he is just going to big wheel. Um, and that, as we've said so many times after the big wheel, literally forces the choice of supporter from Alex. Uh, based on the fact he's made an early Cynthia, that may indicate he's not got the premium selection of yeah. supporters, uh, or at least he didn't. Uh, so maybe looking for something a little bit easier to deal with uh, when he comes around to this selection. Did any Ranguru to help out his draw there? Um, while he's in, having a peep through the rest of the deck. And this is the important turn where he needs to get that double colorless energy, being able to put some pressure with that frost bullet on this Drampa, kind of forcing Igor to ace Rolla maybe. But no, we just see a water energy and an instruct from Alex versus Seeker for the Cynthia, so no N either. Yep, he's uh he's stuck just shuffle drawing himself. That big wheel is gonna be in Eagle's hand for the next turn. It's something you don't want to see after a big wheel. You don't wish to leave your opponent benefiting from all of that. Yeah, and looking at Igor's hand, I see a ton of utility cards. There's Dowsing Machine, a few energies, Floatstone even. So he will be able to explode out the gates next turn. Yep, and uh, potentially able to to set up all the things he needs. Uh, I think I even see a double colorless energy, so he can just berserk for 110 damage. Yeah, I mean... It's, it's a good start. <laughs> it's not as much as you'd probably like. Do you see the energy attachment going onto the Trubbish, though? So no Berserking this turn. Uh, saving that for a later date. He also does have that Parallel City Stadium in his hand, which, like we said before, both modes are pretty beneficial against this Glaceon deck. Oh, yeah, I mean... It, you can either limit their damage or you can just limit their bench. Um... 
And right now, if he limits his bench, what? There's only one Glaceon in play? Yeah, I mean, there's uh, the bench is full of utility cards right now. Yeah. Uh, with the, the Tapu Lele, the Oranga, and the Sudowoodoo. Uh, so that could make the game really kind of, I don't want to say easy, but pretty linear for, for Igor there. He's only for them focusing on one of these attackers. Uh, obviously, as long as the Parallel City stays in play, um, it does give him... But Igor chooses stuff. to limit his own bench, getting rid of that Tapu Lele. Yep. The one that he actually just played before, not wanting to draw it off the big wheel again. Yeah, the, the pseudo voodoo, uh limiting Igor's bench already. So he's just made it even worse for himself. Yeah. <laughs> Why not? Commit to it. Really go all in. But really, do you need more than just a couple Garbodor and not, a honestly, couple Trampa? With the fact he's got the, the two set up, you know, he's in a in a good position to do it. Um does man just, just but there is the that. replacement rough seas and the energy and the team Ooh. flare grunt. Yeah, this is where the uh Glaceon deck comes to the fore, uh, just able to keep itself healthy. Uh, that immediate rough seas means this parallel city isn't gonna stay in play. He does get to do the maximum amount of damage, and uh Eagle probably needs to find a way around this right now. Yeah, that is a pretty good turn from Alex there. And Igor shutting off abilities means he's kind of limited his options as well. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, now the, you don't even need the ability from Glaceon GX. Yeah. Because literally everything is gone apart from other Garbo Toxins. So. Does mean he can uh, bench some more Pokemon. That'd be nice. Yeah, yeah. Not, not caught by the roadblock anymore. Um, but what's he going to bench? A, a Tapu Lele for uh, no wonder tag? And a Ranguru for no instruct? It does make me, you know, kind of wonder. Obviously, Alex was going to play the Rough Seas anyway, but knowing he was going to get the lock, would you not want to Parallel City to, to keep those essentially three Pokemon that can't do anything yeah. in play? Um, and just don't worry so much about the damage. But another thing that Parallel City does do, at least for the red side, is... Make it so Drampa does not get two shot by this Glaceon. Yeah. So that's really what he's hoping for, but it didn't actually prove fruitful. Yeah. Uh, the Rainbow Energy came down on the Drampa and a pass from Igor. And it's gotta set that one up on the bench. Yeah, and uh, now 30 damage on that Drampa too. That's just a polar spear GX away from getting knocked out. Yeah, this one Glaceon, maybe Alex is only set up right now. But it's putting in work, and it's not really in immediate danger right now. Oh, not at all. Uh, it's got no damage on it. The way Alex Hill has played these few turns, there's not that many items in the discard. Uh, certainly not enough to deal 200 damage. Yeah, I mean, getting rid of uh, the energy with the Team Flare Grunt is better than using, like, a hammer. Yeah. Because it doesn't boost Trash launch. That's uh, so clearly a, a wise decision-making in the deck-building process by these guys. And there's the Versus Seeker for teammates. Remember, this is such a great utility card. It helped Azul just take the game when we watched him earlier. Yeah, I mean, teammates has helped out, but it's not going to be a game winner right here. It's just going to bring him potentially back level. Yeah, and unfortunately, Polar Sphere does so much damage right now. 200 thanks to the 40 damage on that Drampa if Alex chooses to do that. Yeah, I mean, he can... I think he comes back to the same point we've had a number of times, though, where you can punish those Drampa uh, for trying to kind of stick around. Um, and then you're just left with just Garbodor. Once you get rid of the Trash Launch, there's no damage coming out at all. Um, does push up the Yeah, I the think we see a Berserk here. Oh, first playing the Parallel City. So this is good. If Alex doesn't have the third Rough Seas... He won't be able to set up a secondary Glaceon and Berserk dealing 150 damage, really putting that pressure. Yeah, I think that's actually the right way to, to put the Parallel City. Um, because now he's realizing, hey, the Glaceon's your only attacker. The only thing you can set up, of course, he does have the option to play Aggro Tapu Lele, as we've talked about. Yeah. Um, but it's still kind of... And it's looking like what Alex stretch. is going to do. Yeah. And from him, putting him down to... Four cards, I believe? Yeah, he knocked out the Drampa. Yeah. I mean, he's knocked out the Drampa, um, so he's got it. Uh, we do see Eagle's not managed to take a knockout yet, so he's getting a full six off of this. Uh, just watching that, make sure all, all squared away. Um, 
But I mean, if, if Alex sees that the rainbow and the double colorless are just on this Drampa right now... And wow, there's oh. the third rough seize from Alex. My goodness, he can't keep this parallel city in play. It's just not been a possibility. There's the flip of the GX counter. Polar Spear GX taking the knockout. 200 damage. That's a, a lot of resources gone. He's now lost both his Drampa. Yeah, the deck only plays two. Yeah. That, that's I a, think he's already played the Rescue Stretcher or like the Super Rod that he has as well. Yeah, he's uh, he's going to have to fight back with Trash Alanche, uh, which is kind of a, a big ask in this one, um, especially with Alex being pretty conservative with those items. I mean, think about what he's really played. A couple of Ultra Ball. Yeah, so he needs four items in the discard to actually take the knockout. The Choice Band is on the other Trubbish. Mm -hmm. And... I think there is enough items in the discard. Maybe right. a couple Ultra Ball. But and if then... Alex if Alex can get another Glaceon going, yeah. that now is the time to do it. Yes, he's backed himself up with the Aggro Tapu Lele, which I do really, really like, um, because there would be a good point if something does happen, something horrendous happens to this Glaceon and it leaves the field, then he can bring up Tapu Lele, trade kind of slowly with the Garbodor, and then he'd be able to, to bring up a fully charged Glaceon when it was done. Oh, but here we have Tapu Lele GX coming down with a double colorless. That's enough to take the Ooh. knockout on Glaceon. And the Tapu Lele does a little bit more damage than just the regular Garboder. Yeah, and I mean, that's... But here's Enhanced Hammer from Alex's hand right now. Ooh. That's, uh... That's aggro Lele, the way that we, we like to see it played. It's... So, it's a little awkward just because your Tapu Lele does more damage with the number of energy they have. But... I, it just feels better. Like, okay, I'll do 40, but I'm going to get this Enhanced Hammer and make sure you can't do anything next turn. Yeah. I think that's probably the safest play, is leave it trapped up there, force him uh, to either use his attachment for the turn, which I don't think is a bad thing. I think, you know, he could use it, get one of these trash launches up, um, especially if he has to play the Hammer. Yeah. Because then he's able to, you know... That, that was a pretty that. good uh, end of two for Alex. He had the Versus Seeker for the Cynthia, a Floatstone, and the Enhanced Hammer. Yeah, that's exactly what he needed. Um, I think he needs to, he desperately needs to start setting up another EV. Oh, uh, for EV sure. into Glaceon. He doesn't have any limitations on it now. There's no roadblock. There's no parallel city limited in bench size. Uh, he's I going think there's probably all six in. or seven items in the discard as well. Yeah, he is going all in on Tapu Lele right now. I don't know if there's a psychic energy in Igor's hand. Because, yeah, he has the Ace Arola, the Garboder, just because he doesn't have the Psychic. Yep. But with that Choice Band, he might... Yes! Field Blower, two more items in the discard. That's 40 more damage for Garboder. Yeah. And I I have to say that's the knockout right there with Trash Lanch. Yeah, with, the, with all the things in play. Uh, the Choice Band over on this nice, healthy Garbodor. This is the late game that Garbodor players absolutely love. Trash uh, Lanch takes yeah. the knockout. There is going to be... He just needs seven in there. Yeah, um, yep, there it goes. I think there's either eight or nine. Yeah, I mean, the Barbacles come into play. Oh, Binacle, my apologies <laughs> for Alex. Uh, we haven't even talked about the Binacle in this matchup. The Binacle's a Barbacle. It's yeah. really not been a big deal. Um, Barbaracle just kind of... Not the biggest concern when they can just get you by putting psychic energies down. Yeah. But here we see Alex debating a Guzma, but like we said, oh, <laughs> energy on the Barbarical. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. I believe it's attack cost three. Two water three and a colorless. Three seven, 70. Nice. Nice. And yeah, there's the Guzma for the game. Get a choice band on that bad boy. Watch him swing for a hundred. Oh, yeah, the Ace Roller, sorry. <laughs> yeah, he's able to just keep switching around. Yeah, yeah. I mean, and that's that's, that's how... the comeback. That's the comeback mechanic that we like. Yeah, that's what we were talking about. Is once Alex gets this threshold of items in his discard, Igor's like, "Well, okay, you knocked out my two Drampa, but how are you going to deal with this lonely pile of trash?" Yeah, I mean, the big thing there as well is they had no backup Glaceon. Yeah, he spent a lot of time. Yeah, he got good value out of the Glaceon. He got rid of those uh, two Drampa. But I think maybe this game he has to readjust. Try and look after the Trubbishes before they get down to, and get evolved. Um, yeah. You know, he's going to want to evolve onto Garbotoxin. He's going to want to make sure he has one as Trash Lunch. But 
it's kind of tough if he focuses on those, he's only taking one prize apiece off Trubbish, and then the jumper can start coming in and, and berserking. Well, I think the turn that really mattered there was when Alex fully committed the four energy on Tapu Lele, enhanced hammering the double colorless off Igor's Tapu Lele, and just doing the 80 damage, and then Igor goes and gets the field blower, just making it so Trash Lanch does take the knockout, and then that Acerola again, coming in clutch, picking up that Floatstone, able to retreat, and the Psychic Energy to attack. Right, getting all the things he needed. Uh, was was so smart, I think, by, by Igor in that one. A really, really fantastic play. And though. wow, looking at Igor's start, it is exactly what you want. Drampa active with two Trubbish. Who needs Tapu Lele? Glaceon does not do anything. <laughs> he really just doesn't need any assistance in his board right now. Uh, we do see the start of Orangaroo from Alex Hill. That's uh, that's not a spicy meatball, uh, to, <laughs> to quote you from earlier. That's, that is a Pokemon that is not good in the active. It's got a retreat cost of two. Uh, so you're probably going to be burning a Guzma to get it out. Guzma or Floatstone. And, and then, you know, he does get the Glaceon up uh, with the energy evolution, so... Things are looking up, but... but uh, one thing I really like about this Dramper Garboder deck is the ability to play first or second and still have a strong, like, presence. Oh, so yeah. We just... Going first, you'll set up. You'll probably get Garbotoxin out first. That's great. Uh, going second, you're going to big wheel GX. Yeah. Yeah, you really are. Um, we have seen the, the Floatstone does come down on the Oranguru. And he, I believe he instructed for the <laughs> Cynthia. Alex really getting the rub of the green there, able to find a shuffle draw supporter. Uh, looks like he may want to try and see if he can grab a hold of an N for the next turn. Yeah, exactly. And it looks like the other top four match did finish. Hopefully we'll get you the result soon here. And that was the matchup of Seismitoad Garboder versus Zorark Execute Executor. Yeah, I mean, uh, the Executor maybe being able to sneak in there, put on a bit of a bit of a clinic. Oh, uh, I hope so. I really hope it was played. So uh, we'll see. We can grab the result of that one soon. And yeah, it looks like Zorark with Finnegan Lynch, or Finnegan Lynch with Zorark, pulled out the win, uh, kind of doing what Keon could not do against that Quaking Punch lock. Yeah, being able to play around it. Uh, really, really smart play there. Uh, but we'll get more on that. We do want to find out who Finnegan's opponent is going to be, and that's what we're trying to do right now. Man, that's not what you want to see after your opponent draws 10 cards with a Getsis. Uh, just two items being shuffled uh, back in. That's uh, it's not the biggest of Getsises, I think. Especially, I mean, that's one, one support that you could, of course, punish the big wheel with, yeah. but he's now seen what a really good hand Igor has that's yeah, like, still oh, thin you, on you items. Got Garbotoxin, a double colorless, and some Sycamore and all that stuff. <laughs> I don't know if I can really do that. Yeah, and he's about to activate uh, Berserk as well. <laughs> Chooses to use Rough Seas as no Pokemon to play <laughs> to actually heal. Right. He does evolve the, uh, the damage Garboda uh, into the Garbotoxin variety. Is yeah, it? well, that I think I believe that was the garbage collection rubbish. So yeah. it only has 60 HP. Would have been knocked out. Yeah, you gotta keep it safe. Um, oh, I might have misspoken. I don't know if he has that double colorless in hand. He just has the psychic energy. Yeah, he's stacking up the psychics. Uh, does look like he's missing a trash lancha for for a little way down the line. Uh, got a pseudo wudo in play of his own. Um, the big thing here though for Alex is he's still sat with just two Pokemon in play. Yeah, uh, and Igor should be in a pretty solid position and, to uh, wow, to look try at this. That. Ace Roller, Ooh. thinking about it, he's wondering if he Ace Rollers will he be able to get something offensive into the active I, after I, this point. I don't think so. I think he might bring up the Sudowoodo to just pass. With yep. it being weak to water, I believe, just takes the knockout, and then maybe Igor can get like a teammates or something like that going. Agri Tapu Lele coming through. Yeah, <laughs> maybe we'll see a Tapu Cure. Oh, can't wait. <laughs> Love to see the Tapu Cure. Yeah, the pseudo is going to get knocked out by the, the Frost Bullet. The we weakness to water. Uh, not been too relevant. I'd like to point out that the art on the pseudo -Woodoo, he actually looks a lot happier than when he's amongst the Trevenants in the Watch and Learn variety. Uh, look, he's in a much nicer, brighter environment. Yeah, um, well, that's because he's, he tra he's not trainer locked. So. Yeah, and he got 10 extra health. He, he so. does have 10 extra health. Thanks <laughs> for pointing that out. <laughs> Just a little... From those callback jokes. 
That's for those of you who've been watching the stream the entire weekend. Thank you very much for, for joining us. Uh, but, but by the by, I mean, Igor just kind of buying some time. Uh, that is a double colorless off the top. That is straight off the top of the deck. Wow. Uh, so the thing he has to be careful with is the 30 damage on that Tapu Lele GX now means that Alex's Polar Spear GX can do it. Can actually take the knockout. Yeah, he's going to set up another Trubbish. He's now got all four of his Trubbish down. There's the Jumper. And it did, I mean, he can. He can retreat. And uh, here's the end. It's kind of iffy just because Alex has just been attacking, not really playing anything. Yeah, if you give him an Eevee here, uh, he's not going to lose his Glacial on this turn. There's no way he can lose it. Uh, but then that gives him the option to hit Eevee Energy. Well, yeah, that's where Igor really needs to draw a Floatstone to right. activate the Scarbotoxin. Yeah, that would be a, a big deal for him here. Uh, and... Actually, another big card would be a Parallel City. Uh, there's the Float... Is that a Float Stone? Yeah, it's Float, it's float Stone. I don't know if I see Parallel City, though, because Parallel City would actually save the Tapu Lele from the GX attack from Glaceon GX. Yeah. Yeah, that would certainly be an option to, uh, to do it. The Float Stone is there. Uh, definitely no Parallel, though, unless it's the card right up in his oh, hand. Oh, I actually... Is that a Parallel City? That is... Oh, there wow. it is. My apologies. I couldn't wow. see the colors. So now it's on Alex. He needs the rough seas to take a knockout and also try to set up another Glaceon under this garbage. There it is. <laughs> Every time Igor has played a parallel city, it's just been rough seas immediately. Uh, we do see Alex actually having to go in uh, right away with the N. I mean, he needs to set up another EV. It needs to happen. Yeah. Can't energy evolution it. No, not he's, at all. He's like, doomed. It's, well, not doomed, but he needs to play it so slowly. And he doesn't even have a Tapu Lele on the board to actually charge up again. Yeah, that's a problem. As a last resort. And meanwhile, Igor, he could just draw a double colorless Tapu Lele and take a knockout. Yeah, I think Alex here, yeah. though, you know, could start swinging. Wow, there is a double colorless in Igor's hand, along with a dowsing machine. Ooh. We're going to see the There's Tapu Lele the benched. Oh, here we yep. go. Seen this one around the block a few times. So he's going to flip his GX counter. There is the Polar Spear GX taking the knockout. Alex has two prizes remaining to Eeyore's six, but he's really on the back foot. The Rescue Stretcher. There's a double colorless. Ooh. And we will see an energy drive taking the knockout and leaving Alex with just a Tapu Lele with an energy and an Oranguru. This, this could get problematic for him here. Uh, we do see him spreading out his discard. Uh... Looking at it, he's going to end, actually, before this, playing the Dowsing this, Machine. This is almost game over. Like, this is essentially what Igor needs to take this match and move to finals. Yeah, I mean, all he needs to do is promote the Tapu Lele, uh, take the knockout on Glaceon with, with Energy Drive, and then he's stuck. Alex is so far behind because he hasn't got the second Glaceon yet. Yeah, it's just It's not been there. He won't game. be able to instruct. There's the yeah. Garbotoxin active, so he's really on the back foot here right. and the one way for him to try to draw out of this come back he might be forced to play a bunch of items and then that is oh, just you know what comes out? garboder yeah there is an enhanced hammer in his hand and a versus seeker Ooh. he is able to to find something here uh grabs a cynthia he's been really enjoying the use of cynthia this this game yeah well cynthia has just been such a great card uh, coming out from Ultra Prism. And like you said before, reminiscent of Professor Oak's new theory and just being able to conserve your resources. It's not even reminiscent, it's the same card, save for the picture and the title. Yeah, so reminiscent. <laughs> <laughs> no, reminiscent is when they're like kind of similar. Yeah, it's kind of similar. One's Cynthia, one's Professor Oak. But they do the same thing. <laughs> do they? Yes. Shuffle your hand in your six. <laughs> All right, there is an Ultra Ball from Alex looking to get an Eevee, most likely. But again... Not energy evolution. No. That, that lock's uh, going to cause him some problems. Alex really trying to set up another attacker here. Both of these games only really had one. Yep. So there's the water, there's the pass. Does Igor, with his giant hand, have maybe a Guzma? He does. Guzma 
Bring up the EV. Just Does he have the double colorless? Just needs the. Uh, okay. He uh, goes and grabs Trash Alange uh, oh, with the Ultra yes. Ball. So all he needs now is the Psychic Energy. <laughs> Uh, he is, does look like he's... Oh, oh he already had a oh, double colorless. Had a double colorless in there. I thought when he was going for the Ultra Ball, uh, he didn't. He had Psychic instead. Yeah. So he's just going to come and trash and launch it instead. Uh, but... But here we go, Super Rod. As, uh... Jumper's kind of coming back. Getting out cards from his hand, because N is another way Alex can try to come back, like an Enhanced Hammer again. Then they're both playing the I hope I draw into something good game. Yeah, but... The fact of the matter is, there's just, there's no, the damage output from Alex isn't there. The yeah. damage output is Oh, Glacier. here's the double colorless off the top and the energy drive. Does Igor have a way to, maybe another Ace of Roller would be heartbreaking Let's right now. Let's see what he goes for. Uh, he's got Ultra Ball, he's got Colrus. He's quite a few supporters in hand as well. Yeah, looks like he's just uh, pulling it up. Ultra Ball discarding the N and the Colrus, getting another Trash Lance Garboder. Yeah, this and is the end game that, that Garboder players love. Uh, basically, Alex has had to go through resources. And uh, wow, here's the Sycamore after benching the Tapu Lele. Gets the Choice Band and the Psychic Energy. And that is yep. game. Float. Oh. Just just doing some, some checking. Oh, so it's not game yet because... Yes. You know, Igor has three prizes, but... Yeah, I think, <laughs> I think Alex kind of knows uh, yeah. that he just can't keep up the damage output right now. Like, I got an Orangaroo in play. There it is. Yeah, the... Igor with a quick 2-0 Very to Alex Hill. Very fast 2-0 there. I mean, you think about how long the, the previous round went. Yeah. Went probably solid 45, 50 minutes. This one, so, so quick. And even though Garbodor players like to hit the end game where the discard is full of items, because of the speed of their play, they were both... That end game turned up so quickly in game one, it was just there waiting in game two. Yeah. Uh, and Alex had no way back after not getting a second Glaceon. I Igor put on a clinic showing just how strong Garbodor is. And he's in finals of Costa Mesa Regionals. Maybe it's fate that we're in the town that bears his last name. <laughs> Yeah, might be, might be the right way to do it. We are going to uh, make sure the players are prepped and ready. So, Eagle Costa versus Finnegan Lynch will be your final.